May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's go to John chapter 13, verses 34 through 35. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. So what Jesus Christ is saying there, hey, I want you all to love each other. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So what that is saying, I love you all. Jesus Christ is saying, I love you all. So I want you all to love each other. 35. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. So what that is saying, you can tell if a person is a true servant of God by the love that they are displaying in their lives. You can tell if a person is a true servant of God by the love that they are displaying in their lives. So when you see people slandering, backbiting, hating, being bitter, and all that stuff there, hey, you know that that person is not a Christian. That person is not a follower of God. Some people may think that, hey, Kevin, I go to church every Sunday and every Wednesday, and that makes me a Christian. No. That makes you a churchgoer if you aren't serving God. How can you call yourself a follower of God when you don't follow his ways? But because you go to a building that makes you a Christian? Are you serious? So having a perfect attendance at church <laughs> makes you a Christian, but you were telling me that it doesn't really matter if you follow God's ways or not. That is crazy. Let me say this too. <sighs> Some people may believe, Kevin, person A over there, is teaching really, really well. So I know that that person is a Christian. Kevin, person B over there, person B, is healing people really well. So I know that person is a Christian. Kevin, person C over there, it's operating really well in visions and dreams and blah, blah, blah. So Kev, I know that that person is a true servant of the Most High. Let me say this. God gives everyone a gift or gifts. God gives everyone, everyone, everyone in this world, he gives all of us a gift or gifts. It doesn't matter if you serve God or not, God has given you a gift. Just because you see a person operating in their gift doesn't mean that they serve God. Just because you see a person operating in their gift doesn't mean that they serve God. So are you telling me, yes, Kevin, person A does have sex before marriage. Yes, he kills people. <laughs> yes, he is a pedophile, but hey, that person can really teach Kevin. <laughs> so I am going to follow them or that person.
What? If a person is not following God, why would you follow them? If a person is not following God, why would you follow them? Kevin, that person can really teach. So, yes, that person does bad things, but hey, he can teach really well and that person makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter how well a person can teach. It doesn't matter how well a person can prophesy. It doesn't matter how well a person can operate in gifts or whatever else. If they aren't serving God, you need to stay away from them. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. So if you see a person that truly loves everyone, they are going to have a particular character trait. Let me say this. In my life, I have been around different types of people. I've been around <laughs> nice people, good people, bad people, pretty much not, maybe not them all, but so many different types of people. And I learned that with each type of person, they are going to have a particular set of actions that they are going to do. So when I find out a person's personality trait, in so many words, I can to a certain percent predict what that person is going to do next in so many words or I know that that person is going to operate in a particular boundary so let's say that I find out that a person is whatever I know that because that person is that way they are going to do certain things certain things that are inside this boundary. Chances are they may do one or two things out of this boundary, but pretty much they are going to stay in this boundary. When you find a person that has true love for everyone, they are not going to operate outside of this boundary. If they always continue to operate outside that boundary, what they are saying about themselves, when they say that they love everyone, it can't be true because they can only operate in this boundary. I pray that this makes sense. Sometimes, or most times, I guess you can say, when I meet with people or when I speak with people, I don't have to know everything about you. Some people may believe that, Kevin, you don't know everything about me, so how can you put me in a particular category? Depending upon what you say, depending upon what you do, it is going to fit in a certain category. So yes, I can be with you for 20 years and I am never going to learn everything of you, but because of the way that you act, 
the way that you speak, and the words that you use, you are going to fit in a certain category. And being in that category, I know that what you are capable of. Of course, you can do one or two things out of that boundary, but pretty much what you do say and act is going to be in that boundary. I pray that this makes sense. So when you find someone that truly loves a person, they are going to be a certain way. Ah. <laughs> if I say that I love you, I am not going to backstab you. I am not going to do, I am not going to hurt you on purpose. I am not going to say things that are going to hurt you on purpose. Of course, what I say and do may hurt you, but it is not going to be on purpose because I love you. If I was married, how can I say I love my wife if I beat my wife every day? Obviously, what I am saying is not matching up with my actions or Obviously, what I am saying is not true. Because if I truly love you, I am not going to beat you. I am not going to curse you out. I am not going to shame you. So if I am doing those things on purpose, on purpose, obviously, what I am saying about myself or what I am saying to you is not true. Because if you go to a category of a person that loves you, they are not going to do those things because it doesn't fit in that boundary. I pray that this makes sense. A person that loves everyone would have to fit in the category of a servant of God because in order to love everyone, even the people that hurt you, harass you, or do bad things to you, and you say that you still love them, you have to be a Christian. If you are always doing well, doing good to people, not fussing and fighting with people, showing love, unconditional love no matter what, you have to be a Christian. You are showing love when people are pushing you to anger and hatred and all this stuff there, but you are choosing to show love anyhow, you have to be a Christian. I pray that this is making sense to you. Everyone fits, even myself, in a category. So when someone says, Kevin, I am like this and that, I am looking at you or listening to what you are saying and see if it matches up with what you are saying. And chances are, for many people, they lie about themselves. Or what some people do, they say, well, you know, this person done me wrong, and that person done me wrong, and this person does me wrong, and I don't know what's going on, but I am listening and seeing why these things are happening. Trying to figure out what personality trait that you have. And chances are, when you find people, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this. Well, I am not trying to get anyone mad. I am not trying to hurt anyone. Usually when you find a person that is always speaking about this person over there hurt me, that person over there hurt me, everyone is hurting me, what is going on? Usually when you find people like that, they are doing something too. 
When you see a person not take responsibility of their actions, you need to watch out. As I am sitting here now, I tell you all that I was a bad person, that I did this and I did that. So from what I did, yes, I deserved much of the bad things that happened to me because I was reaping what I have sown. But I am not going to sit here and say, well, you know, when I was in my 20s, you know, this person did this. And when I was in my teens, uh, that person did this to me. And then my mom did this. And then my dad did this. What about you? What did you do? What did you do? Well, Kevin, you know, that's none of your business. <laughs> Then why are you telling me what other people have done, but you aren't telling me what you have done? So if you are not willing to tell me what you have done, why are you telling me what they have done? You might as well not say anything. I pray that this is making sense. So let me stop here. Or let me say this too. Show love to everyone. I believe what I teach in my videos, if you really listen to what I am saying, if you really, really listen to what I am saying, I am teaching unconditional love for everyone. Serve people, love people, be there for people. Some people may believe, Kevin, by the way that you say things, you are being really harsh or you are really being mean and you are being this and that. Look, there are plenty of teachers out there that are going to say nice and sweet things to you and you are not going to learn anything. You are going to stay the same way. Listen, when we all die, especially myself, we have to stand before God and we have to take an account of everything that we have said and done in this life. So if you are listening to me now in the way that I teach, you can't say, God, hey, no one told me the truth. I am not insulting anyone. I am not verbally abusing anyone. I am not over at your house beating you down. I am not doing that. I am doing these videos out of love. If I only cared about myself, shoot, I would stay to myself and do my own thing as I was doing at one point in my life. It is much easier to research and stay to myself and not tell people the things that I do now. Do you know how much effort it takes to make these videos and make sure that what I am saying is right and you have no idea what I go through to make these videos and that is in an earthly sense and then in the supernatural sense, you have no idea. Like things get increased because I tell people certain things in these videos here, but I do it anyway. You won't believe. You can speak to other people that actually tell people truth in videos or when they teach others, they go through things that you have no idea, but I'm not tripping. 
So I pray that this makes sense. Listen, I make these videos to help people change. I am constantly changing, improving. Kevin, you need to improve in love. Kevin, you need to improve in patience. And I am improving, 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 constantly changing. So if you believe that you are going to get to a point where you are done changing, listen. <laughs> when you serve God, it is an everyday thing. You are always changing. When you get to a certain point, you find out that you have so many more levels to go. It is crazy. <laughs> I am constantly changing things. Constantly. And, and I am surprised about it because the more I elevate in God, I find out that there is so much more to go. Even when you hit 80 years old, you are going to find out that you have to elevate more. This is a never ending process here. You are never done in growing in God, never done. Because the more you learn, the more you find out that you have to change. I am telling you, so let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.